as game one of the grand finals has begun. Amar on his Mars, which everyone, I mean, that's how he became famous in Dota 2 by playing that hero. Literally, it, it ha yeah, I guess this and Timber, right? These are Amar's best heroes. It's insane, you're taking a ton of damage to the Rocket Barrage with a Shadow Poison. The first blood goes to crit, and 33 was well, getting pretty low, but pops the wand here. So Falcons with first blood. You can see the spam from Skeeter being pretty annoying for 33 to deal with. Insania comes here with the Hollow Terror now into the Magic Missile. And the Malefice to follow Skeeter. They got Might him. Might actually be dropping here into the trees he goes, but the Malefice is more than enough. And they end up trading lives eventually. Amar is the target. Mm hmm. Can be linked up by Mickey. Continue to show here. Insania finally shows himself. Gets off the magic missile. Blood grenade to follow as well. Rebound is there. And Dispose. Dispose back into the fray. Nothing Amar can do. So eventually, Liquid do find the pickoff mm -hmm. they need. Yeah, they've definitely put a lot of like heroes and some pressure up there, right? Forcing him off the waves. 3-3 three, three, could. He's in a very dangerous position for now. Yeah, Malrain will take a Malefice. Oh, black, black hole. hole from 33, but Crit is in the area. I think he just canceled that himself. Nice crit. We'll get the disruption. Amar has made his way over. First arena of the game will claim 33's life eventually. Malreen gets credit for that one. Looks like crit died on, on the other side, so that is a trade of sorts. But either way, still good for... I would say... I, it's like a bit even, because they did lose their mid tower on the Falcon side, but they were at least able to kill Enigma. Uh-oh, relocate. Yep, Mar. Oh, Moonlight Shadow. Do they have the sentry? He's going to get disposed. Too much damage regardless. Boxy. Gets that one. Mm -hmm. Perfectly kind of mirroring their movements. He's getting himself Damn. some wards as well. So nice read for him to not Amar die. Amar though. Rebound. Okay, little baby rebound. Mm -hmm. Not going to find the connection they need. It so. feels like Liquid are more in control, but the game is very even yeah. when you look at the net worth. Oh, Dragon Tail from Malreen. Nisha arrow. getting caught up. There's the arrow, but they have the swap to save. A Mars Arena coming in. Call down. Connecting on a decent amount is Nisha. With that Spirit Siphon continuing to stay alive as Boxy and Mickey have come to try to counteract this, Amar will fall as a result. And the rest of Falcons now on the run. They're looking hard for Dispose. Yeah, no Vision is now under tower. He gets uh -oh. Dragon Tail. Potential mistake here from Mickey. A little too aggressive as Nisha is now going to be the one linked up by Boxy. Well, Rut Row Daddy, oh, that was definitely a little too deep from Mr. Mickey. Yeah, Might be another. Again, Malreen has his ult now, Ooh. 33, looking for the Black Hole, actually uses it, but it cancels right away because he died. And now Malreen and company focusing on Nisha. Skeeter staying alive thanks to the Fairy Fire, it looks like, but dies shortly after. They do find Nisha, though. So a three for one for Falcons, and Four it might for be one. more, as Insania will drop. <laughs> That was all set up by Mickey basically running into tower range and getting Dragon Tail yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah, all it took for Malreen to tip was 13 minutes and 50 seconds. Yeah, that's uh, actually, no all chat, not that's tip. later than usual. I that's true. Like. I mean, a lot of times we do see the the ags like you talked about in the draft, but this game it's not really that good. Interesting. The break doesn't do too much. Yeah. Cool. So I wonder. Tons of mobility. Malreen swap yeah, in. Swapped in. Silenced as well. Nisha pops the exorcism. There's the Moonlight Shadow as Malreen is, is easily picked off. That'll break it up from there. I mean, you used Exo, but who cares? That's like 800 gold going your way. Like, Malreen was a huge kill. Oh, they're looking up top. There's no defensive reload either. Crit here with the disruption. Amar, Arena actually disrupts the tether a bit. There's the Spear to follow. Skeeter gets off the call down as well. Mickey Can't. left alone to die. And they're going to find Boxy on the outskirts as well with the Spirit Vessel applied. Great pickoffs from Falcons. Yeah. Terrific communication and execution. Because I do think he needs to be on the top of the net worth as Malreen finds just a little yeah. poke Dragon on Dragon Tail into Runaway. <laughs> Malreen now rethinking things. Wants to go in as Amar has made his way over as well. Blink us up soon, I think. Yep, silence. It slows now, by the way. Yes. Will damage in the next patch as well. Holy damage. Malreen already at half HP. 33 with the black hole. On to three. Malreen is dead. Crit is next. Amar attempting to get out of dodge, but he gets swapped back to be able to kill the Dragon Courier. But he will Ooh. follow suit to the grave. Yules is there. Will only delay the inevitable, Ooh. I would think. Gets a nice spear, though. Well, he doesn't, doesn't have, have a blink or anything, mm -hmm. so. Space. You would, yeah, <laughs> something Space. like that. They're actually TPing. A little bit closer to catch up, and 33 with the Malefice should finish the job. So three kills off the back of a monster black hole from 33. 3-3 yeah. three, three with a three-man black hole. 
think you're getting like close to the Ags on Mickey. Shiva soon on Nisha. So even though it's a very even game, I think their fighting power on Liquid is very strong. Okay, Mickey in trouble. It on. Call down is theirs. Man, everyone from Falcons is here. Even Spirit Vessel applied. Boxy a little bit too late on the relocate. And now Insania is going to be caught out by the Spear. Such a back and forth game. Showing why both these teams have made it to the grand finals here. And this is only game number one. And getting get the IO on kill. the way back. So three kills. No black hole, of course. Right. I feel like he should destroy it. <laughs> Just go to send a message. I mean, we've maybe seen all chat too. Maybe not from him specifically, yeah. but maybe all chat after. I do think right now with Falcons getting this Daedalus this early on on Skeeter is quite a bit of a problem for Liquid. You are getting towards this BKB on 3 3 soon. Um, but I might shadow. Insania might tank the gank. They really like to get Nisha instead. They're gonna run by him though. Insania is dead. Nisha inside the arena. As you can see, the TPs are coming in. He's gonna pop his Shivas. The driver, remember, does have the Aegis. They're actually gonna cancel the TP, so yeah, this they, looks like a free can't. kill eventually on the Nisha. Question nice is beer. who will pick it off? It will be Amar himself. So Falcons continuing to show their prominence. They might be meeting each other. That is a Dire Watcher. Meet and greet about to occur as Nisha yeah. might be popping this smoke. They know they're here. Falcons might be looking for the reload partners down mid as oh, they're taking a more run aggro right out. Into Mickey. There's the initiation. They're going to take out the IO straight up. There's the BKB and the buyback onto the IO as well. Pike. Spears there. It's 33. Looking oh. for the black hole. It's going to be on the giant helicopter. Nice. They're going to be able to get him. And a huge pickoff for Team Liquid as Amar was swapped in. Trying to run away, has the Invis rune. Pretty fortunate one to find. <laughs> the ghost. <laughs> Looks the like he's not going to hit, but I'm actually just waiting for all five to group up. So maybe they fight after the fact? It's kind of hard though. They, they would need to rely on good vision. And lead again, continuing to grow here. 14k has a smoke now from Liquid. They feels like they desperately need something to happen. Yeah. They need. It oh. does feel like they really need the black hole to just be epic. Yeah, Parasma's there. You're Exo. right. Nisha pops the Shivas. Lots of forces. Yeah, Skeeter is going to get disposed back into the fray. There's the cleanse again, the BKB, and the unleash from the Marcy. Trying to apply all the pressure to Skeeter, who dies. That's life number one. They have though. a black hole. Yep. Mars Arena coming in from Amar. There's the black hole. It's on the Gyro and the Shadow Demon. Perfect timing, actually. They're able to kill off Skeeter. So it ends up being a terrific black hole from Liquid. They use everything to get it, of course. But they were also on top of crit during all of that, so very nicely done from all of them. All right, so how much gold can Liquid get out of the map oh. now? Insania just got alive. blocked. Yeah, Malreen. They're and killed. Avenge. Insania is just dead. Very casual kill for Falcons. Is it going to continue on here? Spear actually not latching. Close call. Nisha able to find that little area of the trees, of course. Oh, the Dragon Tail coming out. Malreen will just pop the Manta. Snake King continue to hound this DP as the arrow coming in will be dodged. But see how slow he is. There's the Spirit Siphon. Trying to go for the support potentially, but Mickey is here with the rebound to give some extra move speed. And Nisha, <laughs> his run back to base is brutal. And there is the arena Can from Amar. Snake nope. King. Don't have arrow quite yet as Malreen. They're going to find the arrow on 33 instead. So that is a terrific pickoff now. As Nisha still... Oh. The run home seems like a marathon as Skeeter coming in now. There's the rebuke from Amar, and the Death Prophet is dead. Beautiful. There's the spear onto the IO as well. A very slow and methodical chase for Falcons results in three kills. Four what if you include the Venge. Of course, use a combo to get out, but because they're just slowly waiting for Liquid to lose position, and they did. Wind Waker Spear. Amar, he's not done yet. Aggressive blink in to the spear. Insania, well, Ogre Seal Totem. Rebuke into a little dinky dinky action from Skeeter, <laughs> resulting in yet another kill for him. But he does have the buyback available if he really wants to use it. But again, DP, no buyback. Yeah, this is at least double, which means Liquid are going to have to talk about one of the next fights, which could be the third Roche. Amar away from the team, looking for a good arena. And he is backstabbing Liquid uh -oh. now. In good oh, position this is to find the 33 as they are attempting to go for Roche. Can they get it? Arrow coming in. It's going to definitely give some good vision. They actually do get the Aegis, though. Nisha picks it up for himself. Question is, does Falcons want to continue? Remember, the creeps are already in the They're base. They're reloading the behind them. Yep. Amar, Arena onto two. Finds 33 with the spear. 
We'll get cleansed in the meantime as Mickey and company trying to focus on the back line, but Malreen, such far range now as Mickey's already super low, has to pop the BKB, but Liquid are just dropping like flies. Nisha, the last remaining member, they just die so quick. This will be Aegis, oh. and they'll be able to surround him now. Not able to get the arrow, but uh, attempting to TP out. Did they use all their stuns? No, another spear is there. And that's a full team wipe for Falcons. A good attempt from Liquid to steal the Roche, which they did. Yep, two buybacks already expended for Liquid. They have another one on the DP, but again, no exorcism as the tier four will fall and the Megas will come for Falcons. Now it turns into that triple buyback. Nisha, all they can do is silence and Shivas. They need and spam a crypt swarm. They need a ginormous black hole. He does have Refresher Shard. He does. That so is there's true. a potential for two ginormous yep, black swap holes. Swap or to use from Insania. Oh, Amar with what a arena. triple rebuke into the arena. 33 has to Ogre Seal Totem back into the fountain. It's now or never for this black hole. As the Ancient exposed fortifications there. But it will be ended here in game number 133. Can't black even hole? get off the black hole. As GG's do come out and Falcons in this grand finals take wow. game number one. I'm very surprised at how easy Falcons made this game look. Because I feel like Liquid got off to a good start with good lanes. I think that draft is also totally playable. But yeah, some of the things that happened between like the minute 10 to 15 mark, I think really, really hurt Liquid in this game. I mean, I still think the early game nighttime plus movement speed at nighttime is one of the best changes ever happen. Yeah, to ever happen. Means. Yep, that's right. I know you don't like this take. What do you mean? The last time you were like, no, it's not the best. I mean, ever. yeah, to say ever is kind of ridiculous. See, there you go. <laughs> Again, they get three bounties, okay. but Skeeter is taking a ton of damage. Nice blocks from 33. Giga blocks. Another gush is coming. Oh, yeah, for spit him. on him. And the right click should be enough as 33 gets first blood. And this is a hero they didn't want him to get his hands on. Yep. And nice high five, Malreen. Yeah, where's Let's the high see. five? Okay, it has to put onto the tower. Go to the tower. As Amar, set up on the spear. Set up for the spear onto the trees, but Crit, he's going to be the one that is surrounded now by three members of Liquid. Although the Liquid members are relatively low, Amar is also on low HP, so. Coming again now, and now being bottom on the with his TP, definitely offsetting a little bit of this early game. Yep, Spirit will technically cancel that health salve. Magic Missile, though, finds Snake King, Beam has another stun. lead, but he is perma stunned. And Amar again getting seven. Nice rebuke onto two. We got the Lotus. Shadow Demon with the disruption. A couple Shadow Poisons should Spirit. be enough for Boxy to find his way to the grave. So it's a one for one. And yeah, Hastrun was bottled by Malreen. On the side as well. And yeah, he is on his way with that haste activated to snag. Oh, yeah, no. they even scan this out. Boxy is coming. Three seconds. Looks like he's going to get it. Oh, Impaled into the deny. Oh, oh no, he got it. He bottled it just in time. Picture perfect. As uh, Skeeter. They got Skeeter, gone by 33. The Void Spirit comes as well. But remember, Malreen was here already. Gets the coil off. As the Tidehunter will be the first to fall. Ugh. And Malreen and company will be laughing their way to the bank. They get the Wisdom Rune. They get the kill onto 33. We're not done yet. Bottom lane. Yeah, more action to come. Rebuke. Still the Spear to go for Amar. We'll find it onto the Luna. Do they have enough damage? Two stacks of poison on him, but Amar will just go down to the casual Three right stacks. clicks. Mickey able to dodge out that last uh, shadow poison. Snake King continuing the ward battles. They're waiting for this bounty rune in the next 20 seconds, but Amar, I think they're trying to give him some solo XP so he can get this arena online. As top lane, yeah, Coil's actually snapped and the call down is actually going to proc. Two times as 33 is forced to ravage and try to run away, but oh, turn. the counter initiation from Nisha, he's made his rotation over, and that's going to be a nice kill onto Skeeter. So, a terrific turnaround for Liquid. Skeeter going for the Crystalis. Is this the same order he went in last time? I believe, yes. Falcon's Blade. Falcon. Is it Falcon or Falcon's Blade? Falcons, I think, is. Amar is going to get caught off guard Ooh. here. Spear is not going to hit. Arrow also not going to hit. That's the 1v1 champion right there. Did you see that? He and just went straight through the Dodger spear. Dodger Master. I mean, he's a thin yep. silhouette that he has. He is. Oh, Malreen. He's caught off guard. Impale into Hex, but no follow-up yet. Coil. They're going to use the Coil just for Alliant, and they'll get it. That's how much they hate the hero. They, trust me, we all do. Thank you, Falcon. <laughs> going to take him out. I guess they spotted some of the stacks now, since they're already here in the triangle. Liquid mm. know this, though. Yep, Insania and Nisha 
I want to try to counter Ooh, swap into Oh, that is gorgeous. Into the magic missile. Is it enough oh, no. damage? He's going to dodge the blood grenade and get out onto the high ground, though. They spot him. Wave of terror. And a, an evaded attack. <laughs> <laughs> and they do kill him in the end. That was that a, was disgusting. That was a beautiful kill. I mean, they definitely deserve to kill him. There's now a smoke from Liquid, trying to find some aggression. Mr. Crit. Insania. Holy belly, bro. Was spot. Ooh. Trying to go for the swap, but Crit able to find the distance. Oh. Moonlight Shadow is not going to give him the oh. cover. He thinks he will because of the sentry place and the instant hex onto Amar. Good hex. Crit. Looks like he's going to be the first to die. Coil not hitting anyone. It looks like as Amar will be able to find Insania, so it's a one for one. Aether Remnant into nothing. <laughs> you know, Mickey, of course, I mean, I wouldn't say he's recovering. But, like, his lane was a bit iffy, but he's starting to get up there in the net worth, but they are setting up on him. Oh, this would be a huge kill. I think Arena is, is there just in time. Mickey going to be sent to the grave in all likelihood. The arrow of all things to finish him off. Nicely done from Falcons, and let's see if they can turn this into a tier one as well. I mean, a very big level discrepancy between these heroes. That's a level 6 plus 4 and a level 9 plus oh, 5. Mar, Mickey. Moonlight Shadow. Mickey. Yule set up. Spear into tree, into arrow, into arena. That is a lot of damage. But here comes the 33 Ravage onto 2. And the Eclipse to follow with the finger. Enough burst damage to rip Amar a new two. one. As Crit gets taken out as well. Terrific rotations from Liquid. As Snake King will take a tumble as well. Oh, that wasn't. Th it was a nice try with what they executed, but I think it is blink and shard. So yeah, I would definitely, if any fight is to occur, I think Liquid should have the upper hand. Shard is available. Yep, anchored into the impale and Nisha there for the burst. Easy, easy. But the rest of Falcons Ooh. into the Roche pit. I'm going to put this in the same book as game one. I feel like first row should have been Liquids. This is a an illegal play from Falcons to steal Roche. Going for the BKB before finishing Daedalus. That just shows the difference in this game in terms yeah. of the state that they are in. Oh, they, they want to steal the Wisdom Rune. I think Liquid have a good chance of destroying them later with the smoke. Oh, the Yules. Uh -oh. This is a good Another catch. Set up. He gets the connection. Maori is there. But the initiation from 33 with the Ravages what? is enough to save Nisha. No. The swap out. But Snake King and company, that's a huge coil, actually. But the Malrean on the puck will die first as the arena comes out onto several heroes as Insania trying to get one magic missile to go, and that's the Aegis down. And the rest of Liquid now will reset completely. Not sure how Insania lived through that, but, but still only a 3k lead mm -hmm. for the time being. Mika is here. Oh, mass TPs. Not the easiest catch. Alrain, yeah, able to illusory orb away into the Whoa, smoke. Double. Okay, Nisha didn't have the vision there. Meanwhile, Amar finds one on the sideline, but yeah, more important fight here is the Eclipse coming through, dealing massive damage. 33, already at half HP. As Skeeter now on the run, they lose the line on the other side of the map, the coil, onto the Ven. Oh, the Remnant hit! And the Remnant does just barely hit Skeeter, and he's forced to fight it out with the anchor attached. And Crit blinking to safety. They continue the chase on Maori. He's going to get the Waning Rift, able to dodge a couple spells with the phase shift. Really playing with his food here. It has to be careful, though. 33 has the Ravage available. Trying to fake it out. There's a silence. Ravage? Into the Ravage and oh, into nice. the kill. Big one for Liquid. And they're going to completely ignore Crit because Amar has shown himself. He's actually going to use the arena. Pretty big uh, rebuke to come. What a Snake is actually doing quite a bit of damage on the sidelines as well. They find Nisha. 33 having a really pathetic battle with Shadow Demon here. <laughs> Crit continuing to apply as much damage as he can. As somehow Amar is still alive in defensive mode. Oh. Sparta, will you live? No. 33 finally takes him out. Wait, it's not done yet. Aggressive disruption. Crit <laughs> and snaking the supports for Falcons. Want to try to get this kill. Two stacks on Mickey. I don't think it's going to be enough. Uh, are we done? <laughs> uh, okay, we're done now. Snaking. Uh, hold. They keep resetting and... Some engaging. Skeeter is gating. Ske <laughs> <laughs> Skeeter has made his way over. Oh, the homing missile. Here comes the call down into the arrow. Death to the watermelon. That has been sliced and distributed for all to enjoy. Yeah, Mars has been trying to set up a lot of kills with his yields. You've yeah. seen 
the power of it, but I feel like they just don't have the burst to get the initial kill. Yeah. And then it just becomes this really long, drawn out, okay, delayed they're fight. They're looking again. Aggressive swap, swap stun. Magic missile oh, eclipse. But the Shadow Demon crit with the save. Malreen gets the coil onto two. Meanwhile, McAvey will pop the BKB, continue to right click, but Skeeter will just casually run away. So, 33 actually blinking in, does not have. Oh, he has the anchor. Crit. Dead in the water. Anchor to the ground. Is Amar coming in with the arena potentially available? Malreen trying to finish off the board side. He gets two inside the arena. Mickey is the one they want to kill. Finally gets taken out. And Insania looks to be next. As the right clicks from Skeeter are going to be more than enough. The BKB going to absorb that magic missile. As Skeeter getting gone on by 33. And Nisha. And the finger will be able to bring one down. Skeeter drops to the grave. Beautiful Somehow this buyback. fight is continuing with the buybacks continuing to ensue for Liquid. Amar completely surrounded, mana drained, and destroyed. These Man. fights are crazy. Man, I love <laughs> myself some good team fights. Also some good plays. Uh, they have a lot of uh, magic damage, but that's what the shard is for, mm -hmm. so just need armor now. Yep. The Parasmi will be what will come out next. Malreen ignoring the bounty because he wants oh. this kill. Found Insania in an observer. Insania, yeah, you know, he just pops it in the trees. Just stay in the trees. Uh, <laughs> He's fine. <I> mean, <laughs> they'll find him eventually. They kind of just don't want to waste their time. Like, eh, I guess I'll kill him. Crit takes it for himself. Chat move would be to just let him live. <laughs> <laughs> this is how little we care about this kill. But this one Quick will be a lot bigger. But they don't have a break to go oh. for it right now as the... Arena coming out only onto Boxy. Boxy's that would be a low. dieback to be able to get his 33 gets off the Ravage, only connect on one because the BKB That's popped three, by two. Skeeter. Yeah, 33 is dead. No way to get back in the game. Call down. Mickey's gonna pop the BKB though. Is Nisha covering him from the backside. There's the swap. Trying to go on to Amar. He's gonna eat up an entire eclipse. The Yules is there to keep him alive a little bit longer, but does fall in Nisha. the end. Is Nisha very oh. aggressive. Psychic headband. Trying to find Snake King, but he has the leaps to go. What's the buyback status like? I think both supports on Liquid cannot buy in this fight. Okay, Falcons are ready for this next fight. <laughs> Five buys. Yeah. Liquid have zero. Yep, as there's Thank the you. anchor, but the disruption to follow. Call down to give Amar a little bit of cover. He's going to pop the Yules as well, but the Red Eighth Nance. Remnant sets that up. He gets forced up. The anchor is still oh, there. It's Nisha? unkillable as Nisha comes in and bursts down two. Double kill ends up going to Mickey with the Eclipse. But again, they do have the buybacks, like you said. See if they want to use it as the meows ensue for Mickey. Yeah, Mars, uh, Mr. Amar, he's going to need a BKB. Yeah, I think so. Demonic Purge now breaks. Against 33 is going to be pretty damn important, but they lose the Raindrax. Wave is coming. Yeah, Fortification, or the backdoor protection is there. Moonlight Shadow to help initiate. There's some. Disruption to start. Arrow is coming into the spear as well. That is going to be Aegis in the blink of an eye. And there's a coil on the back line onto three. As a Ravage coming through. Not really hitting much, but they will be able to secure the melee rack at the very least. But there's the a break now on the Luna. Crit getting gone on. There's the swap to try to save the Luna, but Amar Oops, gets off miss. the arena onto the Luna herself. But they're going to focus on the bench first. There's the arrow connection from Snake King. Nisha jumping in with the Astral. Well, okay, he's actually oh. going to get bursted, trying to TP. Very ambitious play. So they lose their set of racks, but they get some very valuable kills. Holy paste. What? That was a sick defense from Falcons. I need to say it again. It's incredible against two cores. You have to satanic on Skeeter, so it's not as easy anymore. Mickey giving oh. all division with the Conda. Oh God. Okay, crit. One Lucent bye -bye. Beam was almost enough to kill off Shadow <laughs> He's dead for a full minute, by the way. That is pretty big. He's very high level. We're yeah, I'm watching. He has not gold. Oh, yeah, I see. You know, it's no. not the yeah. cooldown. Yeah. Just using your eyes. We have the tech. It's a good trick. <laughs> it's very strong. Oh, they just want to go. Okay, I like the confidence. You have all your yeah, spells. Spear back good. into the tower. Swap. Into the arrow. No, the swap. swap comes out. That means Venge is dead. Mars Arena already used as well. Double BKB for Falcons. But Ooh. Mickey's still really low. The coil is expended. He's going to have to try Ravage. to fight it. The Ravage comes out from 33 into the Eclipse. They, they delete one. That is the Gyrocopter. Mars is next. Malreen trying to finish the job, but Mickey is more than healthy now. As okay. they're forced back into the high ground, they will have to defend from afar. They have, but they don't have a wave yet. They have buybacks. Three. I like what Falcons are doing. They know that they don't want to run into Liquid here, so instead you force mid to force them back. And Malreen has a nasty position. Oh, Malreen. Oh, my goodness. All right. Uh -oh. He's going to be spotted. Oh. Okay, they didn't quite no see way. him. 
Malreen still in the trees, will pop the BKB, the coil only onto one, onto the vengeful spirit of all heroes. He can't even finish the job there. That is a disaster, really, for Malreen. Now that's they two got, BKBs they got down for Falcons. He's okay. making space. Okay, yeah, that are doing it. Double impale coming ravage. through into the Ravage, but just the two supports for now. The anchor applied to the Shadow Demon. Yules, I think he has another leap to go. Snake King is going to be fine. Crit, sure. not so much. And that's a buyback now onto Crit. Spear connection is there. Snake King trying to run away. It's not going to happen this time. Oh, and Skeeter, Skeeter and company have to Skeeter away. Double another buy. buyback. So neither support for Falcons have the buyback. Well, Falcons did get mid racks. This could be good for them if they can turn this into a fight plus Roche because Ravage is down. Smoke on smoke. A very tense moment here, Malreen. Don't think the BKB's up yet. Oh, he's going to be spotted. He's going to be hexed. Do they have enough? Ah, yes, of course they do. A little bit late on the Not arena from Lamar, but it's on basically everybody from Liquid. They're going to be able to get Vengeful Spirit to start. Lion is actually going to buy back instantly as Nisha just oh getting God. destroyed by Skeeter. Triple kill for him. And it looks like 33 is next on the menu. No, he actually, they're actually ignoring him because there's a Luna on the other side that is much more valuable. And Skeeter picks up the ultra kill. 33 still trying to run away. Amar brings that to an end emphatically. Holy Gaben. The creep. This is where that banner would have been really hefty. The Ancient is completely exposed. They're now pinging it out. Boxy is going to try to do something here, but they have to push as well. Boxy oh. gets the hex. There's the buyback now onto both Luna and Tide. Uh, Malreen, he's going to pop the BKB, trying to apply all the pressure now to these two heroes. Arrow. We'll be using the BKB to get away with the Illusory Orb now. You can see they do have some defense mounted in their base. It's okay, very this is Aegis, Refresher Shard, and of course the banner that I'm sure they're just going to throw away somewhere. <laughs> Let's keep watching him for the green little blob. Use it correctly! <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, the refre what, what is this? What? What is this? Hello, 3-3. Three, three, There's a refresher shard down there, for God's sake! It took them a minute and a half to realize. He's laughing. He's spammed the haha line. Woo! All right. Let's we can go. all rejoice. The refresher shard has been put in his inventory. <laughs> if they clutch it out and get Maureen or any of the supports they don't have by, it could put them in a very, very winning position. Oh, but Skeeter eyeing Ooh. a divine rapier. I kind of like it, especially if he can get to rapier. Like, oh, okay. oh, hex from Boxy, hex. Impale, oh, Finger of Death, just a little casual damage. Amar actually jumps in with the BKB and Arena. Arena. Boxy literally invulnerable yes. because of that shard. What was Val oh, thinking of saying he gets the swap out? He might be the sacrifice for Liquid. Ravage. Indeed he is, but the Ravage double making a double because he actually picked up the goddamn Refresher Shard in the pit. Two dead just like that. He is broken, though. Do they have enough to continue to push? There are still the two buybacks for Falcons. As Mickey posturing, ready to go. Okay, they still, they have to respect the buyback still. It was a great double Ravage. Nisha has a 25 talent. Yep, crit, okay, there's buyback. buyback no, make buyback it to two, Gyro TPing, Mickey with the BKB. And the teleport out, but the Yules from Amar finds the Lion. That's not gonna feel that good. Even though everybody hates that hero, which it was deleted from Dota, <laughs> that's still not good enough for the two buybacks. It literally is not good enough. Oh, okay, we have Rapier okay. on the deck. Big boy on campus here. Forget everything I said. Every, it's open, open bar for everybody. <laughs> Anyone can do it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want to get bursted. That's, he, he that's the best you could come up with. I mean, that's why he bought AL disc. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Smoke into the base for Falcons. Holy base. They okay. want to try to finish this game. Mickey obviously does not have buyback. One hero dying is huge for either team. Tier four dead. The One more remaining. Back. Swapping out of the gyro. He's already at half HP. The Marjorie comes. He pops Disruption. the Titanic, trying to stay alive. He the disruption keeps him alive for yes, now. Titanic. Pops the BKB. The break upon the Tide Hunter. They kill oh, the no. Lunar. That's just the Aegis, though. Thirty-three actually limps back to the base. I think Falcons might have to back up here, but the Ooh. Ancient is fully exposed. Mickey already at half HP. Astro's head from Nisha. Nisha? Another arena coming back. from the Mark. The buyback out of the boys, but they're focusing on the Ancient now. Skeeter with that rapier. Will it be enough? It looks like it will be at 33 and company trying to delay the oh inevitable. My. They get the board. No, they actually it's did it. enough. Falcons win game two. And that's with Liquid remembering to pick Holy up the refresher card in the pit. Holy Gaben. What, what a, a game. What an actual <laughs> play. What a game. Just run it down mid like it's a pub at the end of the rapier. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Oh, that was nice. And what about in these best of five scenarios where a player like Insania or Skeeter are playing the same hero three games in a row? Does, do you get tired of it? The guy who's winning does not care. 
Uh, Insania is... Insania is just a masochist. He's dead inside. Doing it for the team. Literally dead inside. He's doing it for the team. Insania, Insania. taking blood grenade damage. Amar with the torrent. That him. is first blood for him. So again, a good start for the way of Falcons. Which now still allows the Melon Man to farm it. We'll pop the wand though. Okay, Buxley died to Roach, but that is a long time he is off the map. Lots yeah, of action all Mallory around. Was getting low, but the bushwhack coming through from Crit into the Dragon Tail leads to the kill on Tanisha. And Crit gets credit for that one, so Malreen will this, be very happy with this that. This reminds me of. Okay, looks like they have enabled Malreen enough that Snaking feels fine to leave to now help down bottom again with the Siege. Last game with the bottom, this game with the CM. And 33 tanking the tower so that the Siege does not get killed. Snake King, though, he's going to find Nisha, who just hit level 6. So using that zip, but again, Malreen's first dragon form is a full tier 1 tower. Yep. 33 will end up being the trade, the tier 1 bot. Okay, they do get a one for one trade. I don't know if Boxy perhaps doesn't have arrow yet because he was oh crit. Yep, crit this time is found and it will likely not survive. Although Nisha Lotus. is out of mana. Leap from Boxy looks to be fine. Malreen. All he can do is watch in horror as the yeah. squirrel is squashed. Who thinks it's actually coming from the south? That is Liquid Sword, so they know who's here. Yep, but so is he. No more dragon form for Malreen. He's gonna take a gush to the face. Good 33. Does have the Ravage if he wants to expend. Anisha is already low on HP and mana. Gonna use the last of the mana to come to Snaking as the Ravage comes through. It's gonna connect on two, but Amar has made his way over along with Skeeter. Already a good old fashioned team fight. This is so At 33, forced. the boat is coming for you and it will vanquish the Watermelon. Yeah, this Lance, Lance of, of pursuit. pursuit. Of course. I wasn't just testing everybody. Yeah, good Exclamation job. Exclamation mark L. <laughs> <laughs> Nisha, he is caught out with no mana at all. X into... Oh, okay. <laughs> Any, we don't have... Oh, no swap available. He's yeah, it looks dead. like okay. he's dead either way. Oof. I actually thought that arrow was on Falcons because they've been playing Marana every, every game. game. <laughs> like, that arrow went right through yeah. him. Unbelievable. They're cheating. The, uh, the lead for Falcons is slowly growing over yeah. time, so they are likely very happy about this. As 33 is going to get some action here pretty soon. Crit, of course, has a break ability. We'll use it. Gonna prevent that Kraken shell from activating, and that is just too easy for Amar. And he's only about 800 away from finishing the water park. I mean, does this put pressure on Liquid to do something now? You talked about that first Roche that they need to secure for themselves. Maybe a little bit too early I for that. I don't think this time around, this is the first time that they're really far behind at this stage. I think they're not in a position to fully force it. Nisha with Witchblade. Yep, has used basically all his mana. Crit pops the wand. Miss. And he's going to get the bushwhack. A little bit of extra distance now because of the ult. And Snake King is coming to try oh, to finish no. off Nisha. And a torrent onto two. Nisha completely out of mana. And now HP double kill for Amar as this is turning into a good old a fashioned massacre. stomp. As Falcons just... Yeah. Crushing Liquid so far is a triple kill for Amar. All right, he is a Kunkka player. I take it back. He is. No, no, trust me. <laughs> They're able to take control of this bottom area. They eventually push the Tier 2 before the 20-minute mark. Yep. They steal the Tormentor. And, I mean, that is a lot of goals. We're going to see this combo again. The Sharpshooter. The two break. Goodbye, Watermelon Man. Now, this is a little bit earlier in terms of taking the Tier 2. Yeah. Like, sometimes, even though you're far behind, if you get crucial item timings, it can really make a difference. Like, sometimes, even though you're up, like, 5, 60 gold, your fighting strength is the same or stronger. Nisha, they're gonna pop the drums to try to pick him off. There's the Dragon Tail Frostbite. They're not gonna layer properly, but it doesn't matter. They're just they way him. over farm. They have the X on top of them, just in case. Malreen, another kill onto Nisha. Yep. As Boxy will TP out. They could take a fight onto Falcons before Skeeter has his BKB. He's way further away than the Luna, or the Storm. Mm -hmm. So let's see what they can get. Oh, they... S yeah, he's gonna show himself. Oh, Amar, Holy. a boat already being cast as Malorin coming in. There's the first Lucent Beam of the game, I do believe. He's the focus on the Luna, but the fight. swap. Good job from Insani. It's gonna cost him his life, but is it gonna be enough? The Ravage coming out, the buyback as well. Zip in from Nisha, they need these kills. Crit extremely low, the Torrent destroying them. And 33 just trying to get a lowly kill on a support. He's not even going to find it, it looks like. They can't. As he gets up, one more anchor smash. Get Double kill for Malreen. That's three dead for Liquid. Torrent not going to hit this time for Amar. 
We'll do some damage thanks to the blade mail. Tidebringer. Tidebringer not quite there. Does have the X though as Insania. Did he get the slow on top of that? Yeah. He is done so. Double kill for Skeeter. Four dead for Liquid and they're on the doorstep. And now it's looking even more rough. Liquid would be very fortunate that Falcon step into this ward that they have on the north side. The way north side. Yep, crit. Ooh, just Ooh. out of vision here. Skeeter. There's the Ravage. It's going to be onto three. This could be the last hand for Liquid. The BKB popped by Skeeter, though. Gets off his ult, and you can see they're controlling they the combo. Amar. So Amar is dead, and now Skeeter and Snay and everybody else from Falcons on the run. They got the gem. Snay not able to get out as he dies. The buyback, though, coming out from Boxy. Maybe Liquid can delay it with, like, buybacks to then fight again with Ravage? Seems hard. Yeah, Malreen. They have a force. They have the damage. My god, that is absurd. Sharpshooter has been pretty damn yeah. valuable for crit. There's no contest. The Daedalus is coming relatively shortly. Do you think they wait for the Eon Disk? I don't think so, because at least for now, like you can counterplay what Liquid want to do just by positioning, right? Like you put Amar beyond other heroes. Or behind, rather. And Liquid on the hunt, in the smoke, in the moonlight shadow as well. I mean, Crit knows exactly. He drew the exact line They're going to break it. Malreen ready to go. They have the vision now with the sentry. There's the stun Orchid on the Marana. He already gets the leap off. Sharpshooter not going to hit this time for Crit. Meantime, we see the Eclipse coming out. His blade mail already popped for Mr. Amar. Does get off the torrent. But it's Ravage. not going to be enough as the Ravage comes in. Skeeter. Actually decimating the Aegis. Gyro is dead for now, and now he's completely starting a nice bushwhack as Skeeter's going to try to hold his ground. Pops that BKB for himself. Now oh. trying to focus down the Luna, and he'll get her very easily. Well, they still get the Kunkka as Nisha getting pursued no way. now. <laughs> the arrow is yes, coming. It. Nice Manta, Malreen. Oh, Continue to slow Mango. Nisha, but he gets enough mana to zip to the base. Okay, nice Mango purchase there to save that. Crystal Clone. Crystal Clone. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Might cost him. Don't worry. Crystal Clone's back in five seconds. Can you use it, Snake King? No. He's dead. I don't blame him. I feel like I would have done the same. Eventually, you just want to use the Crystal Clone. Otherwise, if you're Falcons, you're probably fairly happy farming one or two buybacks and waiting for next Roche. And then you take the Roche fight with buys against Ravage. You can see the Parasma finish for Nisha. So, has the BKB Parasma. Not oh. the greatest of farm. They're but moonlighting on a Falcon Ward. And smoke. Dragon form is down right now, but he's going to pop the BKB and try to fight anyway. The Ravage not really going to do too much, but the Eclipse doing quite a bit to the DK. Valerie forced to use the Manta and try to run away here, but Skeeter is on the low ground waiting for the rest of Liquid. Marana is dead. A nice tidal wave, but the swap onto Mickey, but he still wants to fight. Not sure why, because he's about to die. The Force Staff will keep him safe for the time being, but the X is there. Triple kill for Skeeter, and he's not done yet. His Boxy will be next. Make it an Ultra. As uh -oh. 33 gets X'd into the fireball, Celebratory tidal rampage. wave and rampage. What better way to end the grand finals for Falcons and a rampage on Skeeter. <laughs> on Gyrocopter, mind you, everybody. Of course, everyone's favorite here these days. That's two lanes just like that. And one more barracks to go for the Megas. Does Liquid have one more stand in them? I mean, their big spells are down. And that is Megas. This is, uh, <laughs> this would go down in history yeah. as the best comeback in Dota, if Liquid can do it. It would. But Liquid are doing it. <laughs> Liquid are doing they it. They are looking They for are smoking. A this is... At least Moonlight Shadow. The DK is waiting. Perfect Sentry's position. There. There's the Dragon Tail to start things out. The zip in from Nisha. Ravage comes out as Mickey already super low. Will be swapped, but that's into a Torrent Storm and the arms of Skeeter, who rips him a new one. Three dead for Liquid. Make it four. And now the GG's call. GG. Congratulations to Team Falcons, your grand champions here at the Bet Boom Dubai. Dacha Dubai. <laughs> Dacha Dubai 2025. Right. What, a, what a great team, honestly. The way they play, I'm super happy for Crit finally after all this time. Gets a win again under his belt in a new team. They, they just look incredible.